Let's look at solving equations involving radicals. For example, let's solve this equation for w. Let's begin by squaring both sides of this equation so we can eliminate our radical. In other words, the square root of w plus 5 squared is equal to 4 squared. However, we have to be very careful when we square both sides of an equation that we check our answers at the end because we could come up with extraneous solutions. All right, so we have w plus 5 is equal to 16. And subtracting 5 from both sides gives us w is equal to 16 minus 5, or 11. But remember, we have to check our answer. That is, we need to plug in w equal to 11 into our original equation before we squared both sides to see if the equation is satisfied. So the question is, is the square root of 11 plus 5 equal to 4? Or is the square root of 16 equal to 4? And it is. Therefore, w equal to 11 works and is our answer. All right, let's look at another example. Let's solve the following equation for x. Again, we'll begin by squaring both sides of this equation, which gives us the square root of x plus 31 squared is equal to x plus 1 squared. Or x plus 31 is equal to, and then squaring out the right-hand side, gives us x squared plus 2x plus 1. And now bringing all the terms to one side gives us x squared, and then we have plus 2x minus x, which is plus x, and then 1 minus 31, which is negative 30, is equal to 0. And now we can factor the left-hand side. It factors into x minus 5 times x plus 6. So we have a product of factors equal to 0, which means either the first factor, x minus 5, is equal to 0, or the second factor, x plus 6, is equal to 0 which gives us that x is equal to 5 or x is equal to negative 6. But remember, we have to check these answers. Let's start with x equal to 5. We'll plug x equal to 5 into our original equation before we squared both sides wherever we see an x to see if our equation is satisfied. That is, the question is, is the square root of 5 plus 31 equal to 5 plus 1? Or is the square root of 36 equal to 6? And it is. So 5 works. What about negative 6? Again, we're going to plug in negative 6 up here wherever we see an x. So the question is, is the square root of negative 6 plus 31 equal to negative 6 plus 1. Or is the square root of 25 equal to negative 5? And no, it isn't. The square root of 25 is positive 5. So we need to cross off x equal to negative 6 as a solution here. Which means our only answer then is x equal to 5. All right, let's look at one more example. Let's solve this equation for y. Again, we'll begin by squaring both sides of the equation. So we have the square root of y plus 7 squared is equal to, be careful, we're squaring the entire right-hand side here. Which gives us y plus 7 is equal to, and now we need to foil this right-hand side out, which will give us 4 plus 4 times the square root of 3 minus y, and then plus 3 minus y. Now, unfortunately, we're still left with a radical in our equation. So we need to isolate that. And we can do that by bringing all these other terms 
to the left-hand side, which gives us y and then plus y, which is 2y, and then plus 7 minus 4 minus 3, which is 0, is equal to 4 times the square root of 3 minus y. And now let's divide both sides by 2, which gives us y is equal to 2 times the square root of 3 minus y. And now we can square both sides of this equation, which gives us y squared is equal to 2 times the square root of 3 minus y squared. Or y squared is equal to 2 squared is 4, and then times the entire quantity 3 minus y. And now distributing our 4 gives us y squared is equal to 12 minus 4y. And now we can bring all the terms to one side, which gives us y squared plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. And now we can factor the left-hand side. It factors into y minus 2 times y plus 6. So we have a product of factors equal to 0, which means either the first factor is 0, which means that y is equal to 2, or the second factor is 0, which means y is equal to negative 6. But remember, we have to check these answers. So let's start with y equal to 2. So we have to plug in y equal to 2 in this original equation, wherever we see a y, before we squared both sides. So the question is, is the square root of 2 plus 7 equal to 2 plus the square root of 3 minus 2? Or is the square root of 9 equal to 2 plus the square root of 1? And it is because the square root of 9 is 3 and the square root of 1 is 1. And 2 plus 1 is 3. So yes, that works. What about y equal to negative 6? The question is, is the square root of negative 6 plus 7 equal to 2 plus the square root of 3 minus a minus 6 or plus 6? Or is the square root of 1 equal to 2 plus the square root of 9. And it's not, is it? Because the square root of 9 is 3, and 2 plus 3 is 5, and the square root of 1 is 1. And 1 is not equal to 5. So we need to cross off y equal to negative 6 here, which means our only solution then is y equal to 2. So be careful when solving equations involving radicals. You have to always check your answers to make sure that you're not getting extraneous solutions. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.